A great display to mark what would have been Ernest Hemingway's 120th birthday. Dina Cupford joins us with more. Hey, Dina. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I know it's a rainy day, so what a perfect opportunity to get inside of one of your local libraries and really just go through all the wonderful books and different pieces of literature they have. And here at the Rockland Library, they are celebrating Ernest Hemingway's what would have been his 120th birthday, the American literary icon, by doing a whole host of exhibits. And so, of course, many of you had to read this book or wanted to read this book growing up. I know I did in high school, The Old Man in the Sea. This was actually the last novel that Hemingway wrote, but there have been many books created even after his passing. And those stories really expand here uh, at the Rockland Library. So we want to bring in this morning Kathy Mackholt, who is somebody who has prided herself really on learning all about Ernest Hemingway's life over the last four and a half years or so. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so first of all, Ernest Hemingway. We we know a lot about his story, but why are you so fascinated by his works? Well, he's interesting. His life is interesting. His stories are interesting. His characters. He's done work that people have remembered over now uh, two centuries, mm -hmm. and there's always more coming out about him. And we know that there is this great exhibit here at the Rockland Library now, some photos on display. This has actually been going on a tour across the country, right? It's been on a road show for about six years. It started in Italy, and it has um, crossed the United, to the United States and then traveled from the East Coast to the West Coast, and we have it back again for the second time. Okay, so let's look at some of these photos, because a lot of what Ernest Hemingway wrote about uh, were really his own experiences, and he was in the war, he was injured in the war, so that's what this photo depicts. Just tell me more about some of these images. This one is probably one that most people will recognize. Um, it's a picture of Hemingway in his actual Red Cross uniform during World War I when he was injured. Um, and he was so badly injured, they thought he might lose his legs. They were able to save his legs. It took about six months for him to recover to be able to return home. And he was a man with many wives as well. And so we want to point to this photo as well because Ernest Hemingway had a history of, of being married. <laughs> this is, he never married Agnes. This is Agnes von Koruski, and she was his first love. You can actually see the attraction. Oh. And there are stories written from that. A Farewell to Arms mm -hmm. is based on her. And then he uh, wrote The Sun Also Rises from many of his experiences during that time period, too. Wow. Okay, so cool. So you can come out to the Rockland Library. How long will the exhibit be here? It'll be here for another month. Okay. And then it'll move to Auburn. And there'll be at two locations in Auburn, the library there and um, another art gallery. Okay, there you go. So come on out. Rainy day activities, guys. Check awesome. out Ernest Hemingway, an American yeah, literary absolutely. icon. So I performed a wedding at Hemingway's house down in Key West. How cool is that? Yeah, it was after they, they closed down the museum and uh -huh. everything. Well, you know, they got the crazy cats with the extra yes, toes. Yes, toes, yes. And the bride, she had a long train, and one of the cats walked across the train, so okay, they had the toe hilarious. paws all the way across oh, it. Really cool. <laughs> Six toes. The stories you have.